ഹായ് മാതിരേം ടുഡേ വി വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് ഫ്യൂ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ഫ്ലാഷ് കാർഡ്സ് ഇൻ ദ ടോപ്പിക് ഓഫ് ഡയബറ്റീസ് ഇൻ പ്രഗ്നൻസി ബിക്കോസ് ഇഫ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് യു റിമെമ്പർ ദീസ് ഫ്ലാഷ് കാർഡ്സ് ദെൻ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ദ ടോപ്പിക് ഓഫ് ഡയബറ്റീസ് ഇൻ പ്രഗ്നൻസി ആർ ഈസിലി സോൾവ് ഇൻ ദി എക്സാം okay so let us come to the first flash card that is about the risk factor for diabetes mellitus okay several questions come related to this topic so you have to remember what are the risk factors because in a scenario um, it is possible that we are given different uh, uh, risk factors uh, of the patient okay so at uh, booking appointment we have to identify the risk factors which include first of all bmi more than 30 kg per meter square secondly previous macrosomia previous macrosomic pe bhi weighing 4.5 kg or above or previous gdm family history of diabetes minority ethnic family origin with a high prevalence of diabetes okay now how we, would we do the risk assessment okay in the risk assessment first of all we will offer early self monitoring of the blood glucose okay um or we can offer 75 g oggt two hours as soon as possible after booking okay and if the results uh, first trimester oggt are normal then we have to repeat uh, 75 g two hours oggt at 24 to 28 weeks of gestation okay but if the patient has got risk factor for gdm um and there is no previous history of gdm in the previous pregnancy then we have to offer um, 75 g 2 hours oggt at 24 to 28 weeks of gestation now there was question in previous exams that a patient had history of gdm in previous pregnancy now best time to perform oggt in the current pregnancy would that be at booking 16 week 24 to 28 weeks okay so if we look at the this nice guideline um uh we will find that it's written clearly that use 72 or 75 gram oggt to test a gestation diabetes in women with the risk factors okay and offer women who had gestation diabetes in the previous pregnancy early self monitoring of the blood glucose or 75 g 2 hours oggt as soon as possible after booking whether in the first or second trimester and offer the 75 g 2 hours oggt at 24 to 28 weeks if the results of the first oggt are normal now offer women with any other risk factors for gestation diabetes mellitus 75 g oggt at 24 to 28 weeks okay so if you have other risk factors then offer it at 24 to 28 weeks but if the patient has got previous history of gestational diabetes then offer it as soon as possible and if that is normal then a further second test at 24 to 28 weeks okay so answer of that would be the questions which i have uh, shown you previously that a patient had history of gdm in the previous pregnancy best time to perform oggt in current pregnancy that would be at booking another question what percentage of the patients with pco are having associated insulin resistance the answer of this is d that is 65 to 80% now coming to the flash cards okay now it's very important to know about the target level in the pre conception period the fasting blood glucose should be 5 to 7 millimole per liter that is 9 to 126 mg per deciliter okay and plasma glucose should be 4 to 7 millimole per liter that is 72 to 126 mg per deciliter before meal and at the time of day at a1c should be 4.8 millimole per mole that is 6.5% and patient should not get pregnant if hba1c is 86 millimole per mole that is 10% now gestation diabetes is diagnosed if fasting blood glucose is 5.6 millimole per liter that is 100 mg per deciliter or above or two uh, hours um, blood glucose is 7.8 millimole per liter that is 140 mg per deciliter or above that is post 75 g glucose load now target level continued uh, hba1c after birth should be below 39 millimole per liter that is 5.7% means low probability of diabetes mellitus okay if hba1c is between 39 to 47 millimole per mole that is 5.7% to 6.4% means the high risk of developing diabetes mellitus if hba1c is of 48 millimole per liter that uh, per mole that is 6.5% or above means patient has got the um, diabetes mellitus now target level after birth if uh, fasting blood glucose is below 6 millimole per 
liter that is 108 milligram per deciliter means low probability of having diabetes first thing uh, blood sugar is between 6 to 6.9 millimole per liter that is 108 to 124.2 milligram per deciliter it means the high risk of developing diabetes mellitus if fasting blood glucose is above 7 millimole per liter that is 126 milligram per deciliter means likely to have diabetes mellitus now what are the targets during the labor Ta uh, target levels to be maintained during the labor is 4 to 7 millimole per liter that is 272 to 126 milligram per deciliter. Now target level due to pregnancy in any form of the diabetes that is fasting blood glucose is 5.3 millimole per liter 95.4 milligram per deciliter. One hour after me is 7.8 millimole per liter 140.4 milligram per deciliter and two hours after meal that is 6.4 millimole per liter 115.2 milligram per deciliter lowest level should be above 4 millimole per liter that is 72 milligram per deciliter. O11 OGTT method is that fasting blood sugar um, uh, is 105 milligram per deciliter, one hour uh, blood sugar 190 milligram per deciliter, two hours 165 milligram per deciliter, three hours 145 milligram per deciliter. Okay, thank you so much. These are a few important flashcards to be remembered uh, related to the topic of diabetes, building mellitus in pregnancy.